Pyrogenesis recently announced plans to spin off its 3D printing business into a separate publicly traded company. What was the impetus behind this? Uh, well, Mark, as you know, Pyrogenesis has developed some very uh, interesting and unique business lines utilizing plasma. Everything from having its waste destruction system specified in the design of the U.S. aircraft carrier to developing uh, systems to destroy chemical warfare weapons for the special operations groups uh, to a, an interesting cutting edge technology, which is to simplify the production of silicon metals from uh, quartz. We have also developed a process, a plasma based process that converts titanium wire to very small spherical uh, titanium powders, which are now in great demand by the 3D printing industry. So simply put, Mark, uh, what we the spin off is doing is to is it's geared to separate our added manufacturing capabilities from the rest of Pyrogenesis business lines, thereby enabling the new company to attract uh, investment, specifically targeting added manufacturing opportunities. This will enable uh, the 3D called the NUCO to ramp up quicker, uh, penetrate the market faster, and overall increase shareholder value both at Pyrogenesis and at NUCO. How does this spin-off affect the company's future? It's important to understand that Pyrogenesis has done this before. We produce titanium powders, small spherical powders, for the biomedical industry that liked their flowability. They liked how they flowed like water and how it's compacted nicely into their biomedical uh, implants like knee replacements. Uh, since that time, we've invested last year $2.2 million into the technology and actually have improved it. Uh, the technology is also very, very flexible. What do I mean by that? Our bread and butter in this technology is titanium powder. However, it's very flexible. We can use other wires and we can actually use composites. And that's where 3D printing is actually uh, tending towards. It's going from plastics to titanium, which is where it's at now. And it's going towards other wires and composites, which we can do as well. Uh, the new company will have the exclusive worldwide distribution rights to pyrogenesis powder production systems, as well as the right to produce powders for the added manufacturing, the 3D printing industry, using pyrogenesis patent technology. Pyrogenesis will continue to benefit from supplying systems to the new company at traditional margins. And it will benefit from providing standard maintenance and technical support to NUCO. Now, those are two traditional business lines that Pyrogenesis had. In the new structure, we, we, we've created a royalty to Pyrogenesis from the um, uh, commercialization of the powders by Nuco. And because we're not spitting off 100%, we'll, we'll spin off, um, uh, we'll keep up to 20% at Pyrogenesis. We'll have created a, an equity position in a vibrant public company which we could later on leverage upon if we wanted to expand or grow uh, in a non-diluted fashion. So as you can see, we've now created two new revenue streams for pyrogenesis and new co-benefits from the uh, exploitation of the uh, powder production. Both companies will benefit from the ability to ramp up and penetrate the market faster by being able to finance itself independently from the balance of pyrogenesis. How is the titanium market expected to grow in the next few years? Mark, according to the latest study by uh, Wohler, uh, 3D printing machines are expected to grow at a compounded annual rate of 70% to over 14,000 machines within the next four years, creating a demand for metal powder in excess of 8.6 million kilograms. Of note, a third of this is coming from titanium powder, which is where our expertise is. Um, as I mentioned before, we've done this before. We know how to produce, we know how to commercialize the titanium part of the market we've got down. Using very conservative assumption, assumptions, each one of our systems can should generate over $10 million of revenues with margins north of 50%. If we double production every year over the next five years, we won't even address 6% of the projected market demand for titanium powders. 
This means not only that not only that do we not have to corner the market to be a success, but even at this interest in growth rates, there's huge potential to improve upon it. So tell us what investors have to look forward to in the near term. Mark, it's a, it's a very exciting year for Pyrogenesis. It's a very vibrant year. Uh, we will spin off uh, the 3D printing company. We'll be able to penetrate the market faster. We will be producing powders by the end of this year. Um, what's interesting is uh, I believe Pyrogenesis stock, like many uh, stocks these days, are undervalued. But what's even more compelling is I don't believe that the marketplace has yet understood fully the effects this spinoff will have and what producing powders means for pyrogenesis. In effect, uh, buying into pyrogenesis now uh, is almost a two for one if you look at the value that spinoff has uh, to the current uh, shareholder. Thanks, Peter. Thanks for taking the time for today's interview. Thank you very much, Mark. It's always a pleasure.